Yo, hello everyone. Do you want to grab your visitors' attention with eye-catching pop-ups? In this video, I will guide you on how to create pop-ups in Webflow, from designing custom pop-up layout to triggering them based on user interactions or time delays. So let's start with this video. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So guys, once we have created our website and everything's looking good, now let's continue with our tutorial. So in case we'd like to actually create a pop-up, there is a whole article from Webflow themselves about it. So this is an example on how it's gonna look like. So this is, uh, we can click here to actually check the whole site. And this is the pop-up, how it's gonna look like, sign up. So get our monthly newsletter. Now to actually do that, we can simply just follow this kind of tutorial that they gave us. So all we have to do first is let's get into our website and then click into add elements. From here, click into add a section. Let's add a new section. And inside of the section, I'm going to add a new element, which is going to be a button. So this is for the first thing. Now, what I'm going to do is put it in the middle by adjusting this number. A little bit to for example 300 um let's make it for example 500 all right let's keep it first as 500 or you can be put it put it whatever you'd like so yeah this is just an example on what you have to do so i have accidentally deleted it so i'm going to put it here and leave it there now as you might see here there is some options on what to do in case you'd like to put it in the middle, the colors, etc. But that's not really what matters for now. What matters for us is how to make it actually uh, like open as a pop-up. So now what you are going to do is add in a style. So go to here and click into the button and follow these steps. So as you may see here, go all the way up to here and you may notice that it is sign up button so you can give it that as a sign up button here you can add gradient you can add colors and then once you feel like you are done go to the background so let's go to the background and let's give it like some kind of a gradient so this color for example I'm going to give it this color now once you are done with this you can go ahead and then go to background image and keep edit in it through here as you can see so background image you can edit it as you'd like so you can just click here on plus button and then they will show you this so it's gonna be more like uh, more detailed uh, editing for the texture or the design itself now once you feel like you are done with this all you have to do next is simply go to the step two step two is model wrapper so in this model wrapper, so add a div anywhere on canvas since we will set it in position to fixed. It's based on canvas, doesn't matter. So all you have to do is simply follow this, uh, make a model wrapper styles, make it as display flex, flex layout, horizontal, center, center, position fixed, full, and Z index 900, uh, 9999. So it is 9999. Then choose the colors and then go to this third step, which is add and style the sign up form. So this is how it's gonna look like. And here you can style it so we don't really have to focus about anything in here the page specifically. Since you are going to choose the color that will fit your design and your website, so you don't really have to copy anything from this uh, section. Beside the main points, which are like the color, the where to put like the dev, the wrapper, and etc. And this is how it's gonna be ended up looking. Pretty nice, it is really, really good. And just like that, you have created successfully your own pop-up model in Webflow. As you may see here, now they are putting the latest uh, things as they are putting now like the button and everything in details. And once you feel like you are done with that, make sure to add your interactions initial states. So how it's gonna look like in the initial state, uh, the animation, the rotation, everything. Everything has to be specific and it has to be in its place. So everything shall be perfectly good to go. Now here you might find some kind of hard time doing these things because first of all, we are new to this world, which is Webflow. 
we don't know how to create pop-ups and it is pretty much hard to actually create pop-up using Webflow unless you have the premium version which gives you like um, the easiest way to make a pop-up which is just by dragging a pop-up and putting it and then starting to edit it on the top of it. It is as simple as that for the ones who has the premium version. So guys, as you can see here, now once you're done all you have to do is check your pop-up how it looks like so for now it has to be something like that once you follow this tutorial it has to be something like that so once you hover at the top of this button and you click on it it has to be some kind of a box with a background behind it and this box once you open it it has to shake and once you close it it will shake as well as you can see so here we put our name our email and then we click on sign up and we will eventually sign up in their program which will be sending us monthly newsletter about the news of this website so it is pretty like simple thing cute and good looking but at the same time in the background it will take a bunch of time to actually follow the the step by step tutorial that they have in this article i will make sure to leave it down below for you guys so you can follow it uh, in case you had problems reading it through the video you can have it all through your uh piece, like the description just go through it and we will find it and in case you didn't find it, i forgot somehow to put it there this is what you have to write how to build a pop-up model in webflow and you will eventually find it in the google search engine and guys, just as a side information, this is a post that I found on Reddit for you so you can learn about the, more about the pop-ups. So this is a post about scrollable pop-up and how you can actually make them. So this answer is pretty decent. So here this answer is actually, uh, does, will not expand that much, but it gave us a link which from it we can actually completely just copy the pop-up so these are like pop-ups that you might find something like that so you can simply click in this button clone in webflow and then you can paste it on your own website this is very very easy instead of like creating it from scratch and also you can do that and read this so you can even code it from zero so these are some really good articles that you can learn in case you really would like to have like a pop-up that's scrollable scrollable so once a pop-up will be on my screen i can just go down and the pop-up will be following me and here are some more answers so for example here uh let me just read this okay here we go so this is like a kind of like a solution so you can use fence we disable scroll attribute to disable scrolling on the background and don't forget to add another attribute you will find this on the same page to the pop-up so that it stays scrollable and i think you also have to take the pop-up in the designer and set the overflow to scroll all of this can be done without code so he, he done this multiple times so you can do the same thing guys in case you'd like your pop-ups to be scrollable it will not be fixed you can just go down and up uh, with this pop-up that you are having in your screen and yeah guys that was completely it i hope you like this video and see you guys in the next tutorial